What's up guys, Shane Starnes here with droidforums.net. We're going to be taking a look at the Lenovo K3 Note that was sent to me by Gearbest. I bet you guys didn't know that Lenovo made cell phones. Uh, let's go ahead and see what this device is all about. So there is the phone itself. You can see that shiny yellow back. Let's see what else is in the box. Okay, nothing too fancy here. We've got a charge cable and we have a power brick. Now this is actually a US power brick which is pretty cool because most of these phones that come from China, uh, they have some kind of international brick. Really awesome that they included a US power brick. Okay, and then you have some other uh, reading material, uh, but it's just some advertising from Lenovo, all in Chinese. Let's kind of set the box to the side for now. Okay, so we'll go ahead and take the plastic off the screen. And I've actually used this for a little bit and uh, I have to say that it is pretty quick for what it is. You guys see there's capacitive buttons here at the bottom. The screen gets a little brighter, but the battery is just about dead. The only thing I didn't like about this phone uh, was all of this bloatware. So you can see all the pop-ups there. There's lots of bloatware here. So we got the Clean Master DU battery stats, the DU speed boost, uh, Mopo Play. You've got Privacy Guard, the Wii QR, the Optimize. Uh, and then the one tap boost all of that was pre-installed on the phone itself I didn't install any of that just like the device that I reviewed a few weeks ago uh, By show me we don't have an app drawer here. It's just like iOS with the never-ending home screen uh, So some of you will like that some of you won't um, This phone actually feels pretty decent. You've got that plastic back now. This is a back cover It also has the button covers uh, built into the plastic back itself. I don't really like that just because they tend to break a little easier. Um, but if you're aware of that, then you can be more protective of those buttons and they hold up a little better. Okay, so as far as the specs for this phone, you're looking at a 5.5 inch 1080p display at 401 pixels per inch. And it is a multi-touch display up to five fingers of multi-touch. This has Android version 5.0 built in. Now it's running an OctaCore MediaTek MT6752 chip clocked at 1.7 gigahertz. Uh, so in my experience, it actually runs pretty well. I haven't seen any lagging or stuttering or anything like that. This phone has actually been pretty blazing fast. It has two gigabytes of RAM built in, 16 gigabytes of storage. There's no SD card slot here. So if we take the back off here, uh, you'll see those cheap little buttons that I was talking about there that tend to break off. You have dual SIM card slots here and a micro SD card slot there. You do have a 13 megapixel camera with autofocus and dual LED flash. There's HDR and panorama modes also, which can help to improve on the quality of your pictures. And then on the front, you have a five megapixel shooter. Okay, the battery there is a 3000 milliamp hour battery and standby time on this phone is awesome. So I actually took this out of the box for the first time about a week ago and it has lasted me the entire week. I'm down to about 14%. I've only charged it once. And so I guess it's been off the charger now for about four days and it's still at 14% battery life. So standby time has been awesome. I didn't see like a drastic decrease in battery as I used the phone. So I feel like the battery will hold up pretty well on this device. Yeah, as far as design goes for this phone, uh, we don't have Gorilla Glass protecting the screen. So if you dropped it, it's probably going to shatter. And then you just have this yellow plastic back. I'm not too fond of the yellow back myself, but they do have other colors. Uh, so you wanna be sure to get the color that you like. Uh, if it was a different color, I think I would like it because it has like a metallic shine to it. And uh, if I was into yellow, I would probably actually really love this yellow back. I'm just not into yellow. Anyways, guys, that about wraps it up for this unboxing and quick review of the Lenovo K3 Note. If you like this video, be sure to give it a big thumbs up. Subscribe to this channel for more content like this. Uh, also, follow me on Twitter at DroidModerX and head to the link in the description to read my review of the Lenovo K3 Note. And uh, I'll see you guys in the forums.